Armin asks, uh, says, I worked in an organization from where I'm leaving this month. I created a power app and flow associated with it as the flow runs directly from my email. But when I would leave, my email would be destroyed. So I'm afraid what uh, I can do in such a situation. If I make someone as co-owner after my leaving, uh, will he become the owner? I never saw such a scenario, so I'd be grateful for your input. I saw the Microsoft documentation while clicking on edit section that I'm unable to change the owner as it says, this is a non-solution flow. The owner cannot be changed. How can I fix it? As I have to give access to someone who'd be working in the organization. The flow is associated with my app, which runs every two days. How can I assign it to someone as my email will not longer be valid after I leave my organization? Great question, Armin. And it's one that uh, a lot of organizations face when they have uh, employees leaving for whatever reason that they leave the organization, whether it's through these power automate flows or uh, other types of uh, assets that we might have in Office 365 and Power Platform. So the good news is uh, you can take the flow. You can't replace the owner because you always have to have an owner, but what you can do is add another co-owner. Uh, you would do that by editing the flow. Uh, and so what you'll do is you'll add a uh, another person uh, as an owner. That person will have the right permissions now to take ownership and execute, edit that flow, and so on. So that's the first part in adjusting does that, Hey, Norm, does that kind of answer part of his question of if he has a co-owner and he leaves, then shouldn't the other, the other co-owner become the primary owner of that and then can go and yes. add other co-owners? Yeah, so it's not really a concept of primary, secondary owners, but just in the owner pool, and then the the flow doesn't go away. And so the thing to, to be certain of now is to drill into the flow and check the connection references in case they are running against your ID. And so when I'm talking about connection references, I'm talking about those connections that you would have set up inside of the action. So think of sending an email, right? Maybe it's tied to Armand's account or, you know, doing something in a SharePoint list. Make sure those connection references are updated to the other co-owner or some other uh, user account that's uh, you know impervious to password changes or, or, or leaving the organization. So that's the Power Automate side. Power Apps, uh, you should be able to add your, your co-worker as a co-owner, and that should uh, have the continuity for both the flow and the app. And uh, we'll probably add some links to some Microsoft docs to help you with that. Great question.